Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Techiga and today we are solving the questions which was in the, the DCA PDF. Okay, so this was the PDF and as I, I have said earlier, this STEM question is okay. So it is not full. Okay, so this question doesn't have any examples. So we are going to left this. Okay, if someone has the whole question, then please send it to the Telegram or WhatsApp community. So we are going to try this Eliza and Elizabeth question. So Eliza and Elizabeth are coordinators for the programming contest event to be held in their university. They have a lot of work to finish for the upcoming event. Along this, they also need to set the programming question for the contest in such a way that the questions are hard enough to challenge IQ of participants in the contest. Since they are preparing for the problem, they have also made a sub problem to be solved in order to make their problem statement more accurate. They need to find out whether a given positive number can be represented as the product of two numbers x and y such that the number of distance prime divisor in both the number is the same. Formally, they need to find. Okay, so the question starts from here. Formally, they need to find whether a given positive integer n there exists two integer x and y such that x into y equal to n. Okay, so there are, is a number x and we have two n and we have to find two such integers in which whose multiple is equal to n and the number of distant prime factors of x and y is same. Okay, so consider there is 12 and 3 and 4 are the factors. In this case, there are only one factor of three which is like uh, uh, three itself and for this there is two itself okay so this is not equal i'm just giving an example okay a prime number is a positive integer that has exactly two factors one and the number itself is one is not considered as prime number okay so since elizabeth elias and elizabeth are busy doing their work so we have to help them we need to output one if such two numbers x and y exist okay and uh, okay exist other than else we have to output zero okay so input is 12 ie integer input n answer is one okay so in case one there are like 12 one and uh, 12 has uh, so one has zero since it is not a prime number and 12 has 2 2 and 3 okay so 12 itself is not counting and next is 2 and 6 so 2 has one distant prime factor 2 and 6 has 3 since i think 2 and 3 and uh, so this number itself is not counting okay now case 3 3 and 4 so 3 has one distant prime factor which is 3 and 4 has also one distant prime factor two so means uh, we have to see the different ones okay so so the output of the product is one it is possible to express well as the product of integer okay so this was the condition and next one is of okay so we are going to do this come here and an online gdb compiler we are going to solve this so first of all uh, this question is to be lengthy so let's understand first of all i am importing math function okay now we are going to make a fun function which i am naming as count distant okay so this function basically uh does we have going to like uh, count prime factors like how many prime factors are there so we just give him a number so inside parameter i'm writing number so this function just give us the prime factor okay like for three itself in this example okay like for if we give here six so we got two distant prime factors which is two and three okay so this thing we are gonna achieve by the help of this okay so now if we need distant prime factors then we are going to use set here okay so i am making one primes which is set okay prime variable which is a set so first of all i am adding two here while my number mod two if it is equal equal to zero then i am adding in primes two okay so this thing is done now we can divide num by two okay after coming from this while loop we are going for for i in 
print p comma since we are like using this so uh, like uh, we are going in while loop so three comma i am using integer here and uh, we just iterate since we are finding the prime factor so you all know we can find a square root till number okay and uh, after this okay just plus by one okay and incrementing it by two so this is our second condition what we are doing we are look here we just uh, divided by two so all the even number of digits it's gonna like uh, if it number is dividing by two 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 then we are just added once two and right now we we have an odd number so we are starting from three itself and running till the square root of that number and incrementing this loop by two okay so right now coming inside this and we have to check it again while my number mod i okay if equal equal to zero then we are going to add in primes so primes dot add i okay and we are dividing the number by i itself okay and after completing this loop we again gonna come out of this loop and check if our number is still greater than 2 okay then we are going to add this number by this number itself okay or we are going to return length of prime so primes dot length okay so return i'm sorry return yeah uh, uh, we are in python so we are going to return primes like this okay so now we had made one function now we need another so next function we can compare two like we have two numbers okay here okay so we have two numbers like one and two and uh, right now if we are passing a number then we are getting the time like distant prime vector so let's make a function which compares these two prime number like the, these two prime factors okay so just coming here and making has equal prime factor okay has equal prime factor uh and here Two things is coming because we are like comparing two numbers so uh, I am naming it p1 p2 okay and we can just simply take here num1 equal to count distant primes and passing p1 here and num2 which is same count this and passing p2 here okay I think you have read and we are just going to return here num2 is equal equal to num1 okay and this order doesn't mean anything okay you can either uh, uh, compare with num1 num2 okay this thing has happened okay now we are just simply going to take uh, input from user like in input okay and uh, right now we are making our count to zero since we need a count variable for counting and now i am using for i in range starting from 2 okay and uh, here itself we are finding our like uh, prime factor so mat dot sqrt of n and plus 1 okay since it's this and i think uh, Okay, so we are just incrementing y1 so we didn't need to mention okay right now if we are checking if n mod i is equal equal to 0 then what we are gonna do we are just naming here p1 equal to i okay and this thing is for those two numbers okay like we have to find two numbers which are dividing and p2 is equal to n and that divides the i okay 
and inside we can compare if has equal prime factors p1 comma p2 okay and if this results something then we are going to count if plus equal to 1 okay so this is the thing count plus equal to 1 and uh, right here i am going to compare if my count is greater than 0 then we are going to print 1 print 1 other than we are going to print 0 so print 0 okay so this we have done right now let's one more time i explain you so maybe if you have any doubt so it will be cleared okay so here we have make count factor with just counts the prime factor okay like how many prime numbers are there okay so this is the function okay clearly understand for what the function we are giving a number to it okay and checking since we all need a distant prime factors okay that means if a number divides by two so it's a uh, uh, one number which is dividing by two we didn't need anymore okay so we are just here and if a number we are checking if a number is even then it is divided by two okay so we are adding once and dividing that number till the times that is even okay once it becomes odd so we are using and loop okay so which is started from three itself okay since one is not counted so we are not starting from one okay and as number is not uh, uh, even so it uh, like doesn't depend to increase this loop by one so we are increasing this loop by two and we are just checking till the square root of a number okay you all know when we are finding the prime vectors we are just go through the um, uh, square root of that number okay and if that number is dividing that number okay again and again then we are just going to add this number and dividing that number by that number okay and if that number is greater than or equal to 2 okay that means the number itself a prime number and we are just going to add okay and we are just returning here the length of this set okay since we don't need numbers okay like what which are the numbers which are dividing this we don't need that number that was that is why we are just going to send the length okay so here we only need length right now we in second uh, so in the second what we are doing we are just taking the count of the first number and second number okay i think here uh, nobody has doubt so let's move forward so yeah so this here is the main part okay so what we have done we have just taken an, an input and a counter variable and what we are doing we are starting from this number to two till its square root and this loop or loop automatically uh, get, getting equal to this okay and if i i means this starting from 2 if it is dividing that n means it is a multiple of n okay so we need a first number is i and the second number is uh, n divided by i okay and we are just passing these two numbers to here to getting our count and if this count is greater than 0 we are printing 1 other else we are printing 0 okay so this was the thing we are going to prove and let's run this and first we just giving the output 12 and we should get one here okay should mean math okay so i mistakenly wrote here uh, a capital ma math since i mostly code in java that's why this thing is happening so yeah so what we are going to do run this again and checking it again 12 yeah one we are getting okay let's check for other inputs if we have other inputs okay so we didn't have so i am ending this question right now okay so i think more more of you got a knowledge the code i itself send in telegram okay so this was the code which i explained you okay and if you have any doubt just uh, comment on any of these videos okay so okay bye